Welcome back to the tutorial how to read engineering drawings. Today we're going to talk about assembly drawing. Um, in this, on the screen you can see assembly drawing. It consists of two parts. First part is the actual assem assembly itself. And another part is description. We call it bill of material or just BAM. Uh, every component of assembly has a position. This position has a number. Let's say number one. And then we look at the bill of material and we will see description. So what does it mean? First column it says number. So this is a position number one. Second column it's a part number. It's a how this part called a bill of material. Be careful sometimes this number doesn't make any sense but this how we can find it in the bill of material. Uh, and I'm sorry, in the design library. Not in, in a, and it's in design library. And the third column is description. Description provides you some brief description, describes you what this part, what's that for, give you like a rough idea what we need. And the last column it's a quantity, how many of those parts comes in this specific assembly. Okay, uh, each of those parts is supposed to have detailed drawing, which gives you an uh, idea how we should manufacture it. That's what we've been talking about in the previous video. And uh, also it gives you something which called standard parts. Uh, standard parts like uh, screws, bolts, nuts, washers, that's something which we don't design specifically, don't manufacture specifically, we just go to the store and buy from the shelf. So like those parts you will never see detailed drawing for them, it gives you the same quantity, how many of them we need. And uh, if you notice in an uh, assembly part, in assembly drawings we don't have material, because material is separate for every single part. So let's say one part can be done from aluminum, one part can be done from stainless steel, one part can be done from mild steel, something can be done from plastic. So as for material you can go specifically in every single drawing and check what material is required. This is just assembly information. Okay, um, like I said, um, uh, every single drawing has to be on a separate page, gives you an idea what we have to manufacture. Also, you can find another information called technical specifications or requirements. Um, this information gives assembler information how to assemble this part. So it can have like, um, you know, what kind of tools you use, what kind of jigs, fixtures to use, uh, what dimensions we should follow. Uh, as you see, there's no dimensions uh, on assembly drawing. It can be dimensions, but dimensions for reference. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much what you need to know about assembly drawing.